In this video, we're going to break down the numbers about how painting your house can add value and how dogs like backyards. <laughs> Does painting your house really increase the home's value? What, what do, do you think? think? Your home's appearance is everything when it comes to curb appeal and first impressions from buyers. So having it look all shiny and new when you're competing against new construction homes in that area is a must. Some buyers will actually turn away from a property purchase if they don't like the color of the outside or if it looks tired and looks like it hasn't been well maintained. In addition, certain HOAs will force you to paint your house every five to seven years if they notice that it's looking a little bit chalky, dusty, and showing stucco cracks. And believe it or not, painting the exterior of your house is one of the easiest things you can do as a property owner to increase the value of that property and also make sure water and insects don't penetrate the exterior of the home. This particular home sits in North Lake Park in the Lake Nona area, and an investor client of mine purchased it about three years ago. So we're gonna break down the numbers back at the office to show you the purchase price, the rental income, and the minimal amount of maintenance that was required in this three year period. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the ROI number of that this home's able to fetch. What a difference 30 days makes, right? We shot that footage before COVID-19 hit and now we're stuck in the house. So it's day 22 of quarantine. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little stir crazy trying to take care of homeschooling with the kids running around, cooking all the meals and doing a bunch of Zoom conferences with actual buyers, by the way, more on that in just a little bit. But there's a good thing about all this extra time spent at home, which got me thinking. Before our economy hit the pause button, things were going pretty strong. If you prepared your home well, priced it right, and marketed it well, you could achieve a premium price. And even with all that's going on, there's buyers still coming out of the woodwork that are trying to find their next home here in Orlando. See, mortgage rates are still really low right now, and if they have good credit, they're able to have their pick of the litter of what their next home's going to be. And guess which homes they're still attracted to? That's right, the homes that look clean, decluttered, and freshly painted especially in those areas of town where you're competing against new construction for buyer attention. So if I had been planning on selling my home prior to COVID-19, this is a great time to do those upgrade projects and home maintenance so that you can attract the right buyer when the time is right to sell. Now, if you can't find your can of touch-up paint in the garage, chances are you can take a sample to the hardware store once it's safe and try and match the color. But in some cases, your paint might have faded due to sun exposure and it's time to do a full repaint. And if you're going to do that, you might want to consider a color change to appeal to the broadest spectrum of buyers. To help you decide on a color, I've created these drywall swatches with actual texture with Sherwin-Williams Super Paint Flat Finish. We have some of the more popular builder colors represented here, which of course are neutral tones. One's called Agreeable Gray. Yes, that's an actual paint color. Then we have Repose Gray, which is a bit of a cooler gray that I have in my house. And then Modern Gray, which is more of a beige actually, and it goes well if you have a lot of warm tones in your home. If you're thinking of doing a color change and you live in the Orlando area, shoot me a message and I'll let you borrow these swatches to help you decide on a color before you commit. And if you're looking at exterior color change, be sure and check with your HOA's rules and regulations because you might be limited to certain color palettes. Painting the exterior of your home is not something you want to tackle by yourself, but luckily we have some great vendors that can help you do that in a short amount of time. We're going to hear from JCS Professional Painting, Mr. Gene Carlos Suarez, on some quick tips to help you improve the curb appeal of your home. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm here with Gene Carlos Suarez from JCS Professional Painting. He paints a lot of houses in this Lake Nona area. This particular house, being a one story, but it has the trim and the door color change. How long of a day job was this job? How many days? Uh, normally like three days, including the press or wash, prepare, you know, 
the finish and everything. And what would you say is like one of the largest homes you've painted both exterior and interior here in Central Florida? How many square footage and how many days did it take? It's like a 7,000 square feet. It took me like uh, 10 days to finish. You have probably like 70 gallons of exterior. Yeah, it's a cute job. Yeah. Typically, how long do you see these paint jobs lasting? Is it is it five years, seven years? It depends the, the the paint you use. You know, right now we use using here super paint. Uh, normally, like six or seven years. I think it's fine with satin, you know. Well, and I can tell you, it looks a whole lot better than it did before. That paint was all faded. It had stucco cracks showing. And even the HOA was sending letters to the homeowner to say, you need to repaint your house. So I'm super glad that we had your services here today. So thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. And I'll be calling you to repaint my own house very soon. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Whatever you need me, you let me know. You always, you know, hook me up. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gene Carlos. I'll let you get back to work. All right, so this house has just been repainted. It took three days, and Gene Carlos did a great job changing the color from that yellow that was faded with stucco cracks to this awesome gray with a red door. We had to get HOA approval to change the color, but it was totally worth it because now this home is gonna sell for more money when it comes time to sell this asset. You saw the breakdown of the ROI from this investor's purchase, expenses, and rental income. And you can see why this Lake Nona area is booming and it's a great place to purchase a new or recently new built home and rent it out for a long period of time and then get ready to sell it for a premium price when the time is right. For more information on this type of home and others in the area, my name is Justin Pekarik and you can reach me at 407-808-3695. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click that subscribe button below because there's going to be more coming out every single week. Until then, we'll see you around the neighborhood.